Hi guys! My name is Naka. Thank you so much for clicking this video. I don't even think I like that introduction. Oh my god. Let's try it again. Mm. No! Realistic analytics for people who have around 500 subscribers. Wow, I'm nervous to film this video because it's the first video of a new series that I'm doing called My Journey to a Thousand Subscribers. Well, truthfully, I want to call it my third my journey to a hundred thousand subscribers, so yeah, I might just change it to that because that that's what's feeling like aligned with my spirit right now. So anyway, this video is gonna go over my YouTube analytics for the month prior, which is February, which I'm really excited. Like this is honestly one of my best months on YouTube ever. But I wanna start out by giving you guys a little bit of a background on my YouTube journey in particular. All the way back to the beginning of my YouTube channel, you'll see I started YouTube in like 2015, 2016, very long, very long time ago and here we are <laughs> I just wasn't consistent at the time I had like a lot of self-doubt and like limiting beliefs and I just wasn't fully confident to really step into the identity of a youtuber like I really wanted to but last year I was able to work with my friend and accountability coach and she really really helped me get into the habit of just creating YouTube videos regularly. So truly, even though I started my YouTube channel in like 2014, 2015, a very long time ago, I didn't truly start posting content consistently until around this time last year. That would make this year truly my first year on YouTube and I wanna go over my analytics with you guys and then also show you guys my strategy to growing to a thousand subscribers this year, basically. I mean, honestly, it's 100,000, but you know, it's fine. I'm gonna get there eventually. You have to get to 1,000 before you can get to 100,000 or 10,000. Maybe 10,000, that seems like a good, like, medium. Yeah, I'm gonna call this series My Journey to 10,000 YouTube Subscribers. Work it in real time, real time. Yeah, so let's go into my best performing videos for the month of February, and then we'll get into my strategy for March. So my best performing short was very, very weird. Like I wasn't expecting it at all, but it was actually like a book talk that I reposted from TikTok, uh, just going over like my favorite book that I read this year. Um, it was The Silent Patient. If you guys haven't read it, I highly recommend. But that was really interesting to me because I'm like, out of all the TikToks I posted, out of all the YouTube shorts I posted, that. That was the one, okay. Show me the first book you're reading in 2023. I'm reading this. My best performing long-term video, or long-form video rather, was my New York City vlog, my first week of Columbia. This, <laughs> this video has literally been my top performing long-form video for a very long time, and so I really just try to replicate it by doing more New York City vlogs, more Columbia vlogs, and then I also do like yoga teacher vlogs too, because I find that those do kind of like well on my channel. So let's get into some realistic analytics for people who have around 500 subscribers. This is really the meat and potatoes of this video because I find that there's so many people on YouTube who are sharing their growth journey, but they have like 100,000 subscribers. Like, where are the small YouTubers at? Like, hello, like what should we be aiming for? So, in February, I got 11,000 views, which is insane to me, 117 watch hours, um, and then 51 subscribers. It took me so long to get to 500 subscribers. Like honestly, it probably took me about three months to get to to get to, from 400 to 500. And now it just seems like things are accelerating. Like I, in one month I gained 50 subscribers. That's crazy. All right, so March, we are starting out with, ooh, like as you can see here, like yeah, it took me December, January, February to get to 500. I crossed 500 this month and I am at, 541 subscribers. I'm like, I literally feel so grateful. Um, I'm also at 1,045 watch hours. And then views, I also crossed um, 75,000 views this month. And I don't really know how to see the views. I think I honestly just have to go to like lifetime views. 
My computer sounds like it's blasting off right now. <laughs> uh, okay, and so we use, I'm at 77,600, which is also crazy because the percent increase, out of control. Guys, I'm literally so excited because this is my first time I actually hit my YouTube goals for the month. So in February, my goal was to get 510 subscribers. I'm now at 541, insane. And then my watch time goal was 1,000 and I'm at 1,045, ah! So I did the math and that basically means I increased by 10% on my followers and my watch time hours. So my goal, I'm gonna push it a little bit um, and do 15% for my watch time and my subscribers. And then for my views, I don't know. If we're at 77, maybe we can get to 100,000. I'm gonna see. Yeah, let's do 100,000. So that's gonna be my goals for the month of March. Okay, so we set my goals and there's one more thing that I want to cover. So I want to talk about my YouTube strategy for March. So because I do really well with New York City vlogs, that's like my longest or my best performing and <laughs> my longest best performing <laughs> long for our content for March, I'm just going to do more New York City vlogs. I'm also really interested to test how a long form book video would do. So I'm probably going to do like a roundup of like my favorite books that I read in 2022, or maybe my favorite books I'm reading right now, something like that. Here's my cat. <laughs> um, and then I'm also really working on this like major, major, is it a secret project? Maybe. Maybe it's a secret project. I'm working on my apartment. So I'm working on a YouTube series for that, which I hope to launch at like the end of March. I just want to have all the videos kind of done, or not all of them, maybe like three or four of them done so I can just kind of release them um, in a row, like in a sequence, like a series. So I'm working on that in the background as well, but yeah, I mean, thank you so much for watching. If you like these types of videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is actually my first one in the series. I tried to do one last month, but I just like wasn't being my authentic self. Like I was trying to imitate like March resets or like monthly resets that other YouTubers do and it just wasn't really resonating for me. This one feels like more aligned with what I wanna do on YouTube. So I really am excited about this new series. Even if no one watches it, like I kind of want it just for me so I can see how much I've grown as a YouTuber. Um, and it, it kind of just helps keep me motivated. So if you are a YouTuber with like 500-ish subscribers, please let me know if you see similar like analytics on your end. Definitely, definitely start posting YouTube shorts because I feel like those have really helped me grow. And I noticed that people who watch my shorts do watch my long form videos because They'll comment on them <laughs> and I'm like oh like they found me for my book talk video and now they're watching my New York City vlog so that's always really exciting as well but I am rambling thank you so much for watching I will see you guys next month with another update on just like my YouTube journey to 10,000 subscribers and yeah love you make sure you subscribe bye